needs more aluminum. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? Today is a special day because I'm putting the handbrake back on. getting warmed up and I'm about to ride. I just wanted to uh, share a little message with you guys. A lot of people know that I've been working on coasters now for a while. I crashed on Christmas Day and ever since Christmas I decided that I was not going to let the coaster defeat me. So when I broke my handbrake I felt like it was a perfect blessing for me to be able to make myself get a foot brake coaster down like ever since I started riding the foot brake coaster was my goal like a sit down pull in the clutch snatch it rev limiter has always been my absolute favorite trick but as a lot of people know I've been riding um, on and off because of accidents and injuries for the last like five years and I don't I didn't have it down so I realized that a lot of us are a lot deeper in our lives um, mentally and the way that we think and the things that we do than we think we are. So I feel like one thing that holds us back is identifying something and then applying it. So I realized what I did with taking the handbrake off because it was broken and not using it and not replacing it because I did, it's not that I didn't have the money or I didn't I couldn't get my hands on a handbrake we know I could I decided to take the handbrake off because it was a crutch for me and I think there is a huge message behind that in that not only with the bike but in everyday life what kind of crutches do you guys have like what are you using what are you using every day to lean on an excuse or um, blaming other people or anything there's got to be some sort of crutches in your life that you're leaning on that you don't want to get rid of because they're comfortable so for me it was the handbrake right and I realized how can I apply this in my life remember identifying and then applying so I identified that I was afraid of the coaster because I didn't want to learn how to use the brakes and a lot of people know me for throttle control and a lot of people know me for riding fast but to identify and to be vulnerable and to be honest I wasn't that good at slowing my wheelies down so that's why I like to ride fast so I had to learn my brake control and in taking that handbrake away I took away my crutch um, I previously had a problem with um, instant gratification which I know we all battle and of course I'm not perfect and I still battle it every day but I had to go through and I had to unfollow every single account that was a female that was posting pictures that probably my girl wouldn't like me looking at. 
that was a crutch for me. That was something that I had to go and I had to take away my safety net. I had to take away my crutch. I had to take that away. I had an alcohol problem. I completely cut alcohol out of my life until I was able to gain a control over it. So where in your life right now are you out of control in a certain area but you use a crutch or you use some sort of instant gratification my instant gratification with the bike and the reason i never forced myself to take the handbrake off and to really sit down and learn it was because my instant gratification was oh he's killing it i was getting the clout of people letting me know that i was killing it so i was like why would i go back and basically start over and be a squid why would i do that why would i be a worm why would i start over why would i do that but it takes discipline and so in me taking that and leaving that handbrake off I have never ever gone more than two or three sessions without nailing a trick and this took me I've been back on the bike for a month and a half this this damn coaster took me a month and a half to get but I realize now I can apply that so now again application now I'm going to take that same exact thing where do I have crutches in my life? Where do I have crutches in my YouTube? Where do I have crutches in my business? Where do I have crutches in my relationship? Where do I have crutches, things I'm leaning on or that are blocking me getting instant gratification that are blocking me, the handbrake was blocking me from getting what I really wanted and going backwards was blocking me, right? Because I was getting that instant gratification. So again, guys, I, I don't wanna make this too long, but I think we fail to realize that we're a lot deeper than we think we are. You have things that you're doing right now that if you apply them to every area of your life, because that's what I want everybody to do, is that's what the bike taught me. The bike taught me that I could be an absolute killer in every aspect of my life if I took the same principles that the bike taught me, the things, the drive and all the motivation that I wanted to do when I was riding. If I could take that in every area of my life, I was gonna murder it because the bike drove me to do so many things. The bike drove me to get money because I had to fix the bike. The bike drove me to get my fitness together. The bike drove me to get my vertical leap. The bike drove me to get my strong core. The bike drove me to do everything. So what areas of my life can I transfer that energy and transfer that motivation and transfer those principles and transfer those habits and routines everywhere? So I can just be a beast all around. So. Again, I don't wanna make this too long. I can get going, I can get rambling, so I'm about to get on the bike, and we'll see what I do. doing it's a little cold out today let her get a little warmed up see what this handbrake's doing for me She's locking up. Okay, so I did want to go into a little more detail about this whole thing with the crutch. I did want to go into a little more detail about this thing with the crutch and why I think it's very important for you guys to identify these kind of things and tackle them because as soon as you get to the point where like me 
again I avoided you know this thing for so long that oh checking my brake I avoided this thing for so long that She's working. Okay, handbrake's working. I avoided this coaster thing for so long that all the tricks I really wanted to unlock were behind the coaster. So I wanted to be able to do, you know, spreader, high chair, you know, the whole nine. But how can I do that if I don't have the basic one down? So what I'm saying is, is that how are you gonna? How you gonna be able to do it if you don't have the basics? And then after you after you get the basics, everything else gets unlocked. Like you get momentum. So again with my YouTube channel, I had all these crutches. I don't have the right uh, camera. I don't have the right, you know, um, I'm not a good speaker. I don't like you know speaking in front of people. I don't like doing all this, I don't like doing all that, but it was all just a crutch. So when I took the crutch away, I'm starting to build my channel. Imagine if I had been doing that the whole time. This is gonna be funky for me. This is gonna be real funky. I'm trying to do sit downs with the handbrake just cause I wanna try to get the concept down before I jump into doing it in the tank um, but again this is like imagine now that everything that I'm doing is starting to everything that I'm doing is starting to come to surface imagine if I had been doing that the whole time instead of worrying about all the stuff that I didn't have and all the using all the excuses and all the crutches I could have been doing YouTube the last couple years and I'd probably be killing it right now I could have been doing the coasters the last couple years and I'd be probably killing it right now but I haven't been because I had that crutch and I refuse to have tuck my ego and have the discipline And have the discipline take the handbrake off or i'm sorry leave the handbrake off and don't put it back on until you get it nate that's it make videos put yourself out there and continue to do it until you get it like it's it's a marathon like that's very popular right now and i hate to be cliche but it's a marathon like this whole bike life thing is a marathon this whole personal development thing is a marathon Handbrake is a lot touchier. Okay, got to be light on that. This whole self-development thing is a marathon. This whole success thing is a marathon. Again, my, my big thing is, you know, I use the bike for a lot of my messages, but I think there's a lot more to the bike. There's a lot more to life than the bike. And the areas that you want to be killing it in, you're not gonna kill it in. You're not gonna kill it in if you if you don't kind of take some of these concepts that you know we have and we build from this passion for motorcycles into other areas of your life. Which is my biggest uh, my biggest push to everybody is to be to be a killer everywhere, not just on the bike. So once you get that momentum going, okay. I'm immediately hitting the brake when I pull the clutch in, which is not what I should be doing. trying to learn something new and, to, and give this message at the same time but so 
basically what I'm saying is I got this handbrake back on now I'm gonna start doing tank coasters I'm gonna start doing tank coasters so after I unlock this first area of the coaster it's on to the next and on to the next and on to the next and on to the next so same thing an application with your life once you unlock that first thing once I started applying the same principles and you know in every area with YouTube with my relationship uh, with my family all this kind of shit everything everything started to change Don't touch the brake unless you need it. Now I started to see momentum coming in my relationship with my girl. I started seeing momentum in trying to, you know, be have a better connection with my dad. You know, I put in that effort. I did. There's a lot of things that needed to be done first before him and I were able to have the connection and build the connection that we did. There's a lot of things that had to be done first. Just like the foot brake coaster had to be done first. There we go, a little handbrake pump right there. So I had to do those things. We had to go, we had to sit down, we had to talk about what was wrong. We had to talk about the things that I've done or things that I've said that that were hurt that were hurting him pulling on him and he had to sit in the things that we've gone through that were hurting and pulling on me and I had to do the same thing you know with my girl to get to where we are now I had to sit down with myself most importantly and say you know what what do you what do you want in your life Nate what do you want to do I realized that the self-development and the speaking and basically being myself and I want to get paid for it and I don't think that that's too much to ask and the problem was is before my crutch was is that I thought that I wasn't good enough I thought that being myself that there was no way I could get paid and then when I took that crutch away When I took that crutch away, I had to do that work first. I had to do the foot brake coaster first. When I took that crutch away, and I was like, you know what? There is a possibility. There's so many other people that are just being themselves that are getting paid for it. How do I do that? YouTube, boom, now here I am. And I'm gonna continue to do it until I get paid for it. Does it make me feel comfortable pulling the clutch in? But I'm not here to make excuses, I'm here to make it happen. my foot completely off the foot brake so I've got no crutch here see what happens when you take your your foot off your crutch you get a little nervous get a little scared Easy, 
on her. Alright, so this is going to be very difficult for me to talk and try to do this at the same time because I'm using a lot of my brain power. So, my message for today My message for today was Take away your crutch. I took away my crutch. Now I have more control over my bike. I've taken away my crutches and I have more control over my life. I took away my instant gratification crutches. I've got more control over my mind. So take away your crutch and find out exactly what you want. Figure out what's stopping you and it's you. So just remember that you are stopping yourself. So what excuses are you making? When you think it's when you think it's that thing that's stopping you, like it's not, it's you. It's not you. Sorry. It's not the thing, it's you. So take away, identify those things and take them out of your life and stop using them as an excuse. I'm gonna get after these handbrake coasters. It's Nasty Nay, I'm signing out and I'll see you guys in the next video.